I think that students tend to uh, feel like they're going to get the core of the content information in class and they tend to become overconfident with the work that they do in class and don't put enough outside work into the course. Um, and by this I mean um, something as simple as pre-reading. I, I fully expect all students to come to class prepared having gone over the chapters that we will be discussing and my role in the learning experience um, for you guys is to help to explain difficult concepts, clear up any questions that you may still have after you've gone through and looked at the initial reading material. I feel that uh, really the students need to put in the legwork and I will be more than happy to take things a step further, explain what else needs explaining, um, like I said, clarify the difficult concepts, help with mnemonics, help with uh, developing ways to organize the information and maybe, you know, integrate it, uh, develop study habits, things like that. But the core has to come from the student themselves. I definitely feel that the best thing that you can do for yourself to hit the ground running when we start the class is to come prepared. And by that I mean having read the first, um, in this case, four chapters or five chapters really of um, your pharmacology book, um, as well as having looked into your uh, medication for math nursing book. Uh, we will be doing a lot of dosage and calculation uh, problems on our exams and I will not have time to reteach that material so I, it definitely serves the student to make time to review any difficult math concepts that they have been struggling with in the past. The thing that provides the biggest jolt to students is when they take those first few exams and they realize that they have studied incorrectly for them. Um, and a lot of that stems from the fact that they probably didn't prepare well enough for them to begin with. Um, they probably relied too much on what was said in lecture and not enough on what they had to do um, on their part with reading and note-taking and memorization at home. The best thing to do is to uh, start uh, before you come to lecture, again, as I said, um, with the reading, and take a look at the objectives at the beginning of each chapter, which pretty clearly spell out to you the goals that you should have attained after you have gone through and read the text. And I would start off um, during the reading by, you know, having a notebook next to you, maybe writing out um, any basic definitions for yourself um, as you go through and you find concepts that are difficult to understand also you know jot those down so you can ask those questions in class and we can go from there together. The 15 hours that minimum that you are required to put into this course 
Um, the reading component of that should have been accomplished before you get to class. So with the 15 hours in mind, um, you can go back over your notes that you've already taken, but really you should be using that time to uh, review the things we talked about in lecture, um, write your drug cards, solidify the content. There's going to be a lot of memorization um, involved because it's pharmacology. It's a completely different language that you'll have to get used to, um, not to mention um, reviewing your um, objectives, uh, doing your homework assignments. Uh, that is all part of that 15 hour workload and it's plenty even when divided between four chapters that you've already, you should have already read. The student who fails is, uh, tends to fit sometimes a mold. Um, and the first thing um, that I notice is that this is a student who overloads themselves. Um, they try to do it all, uh, taking two classes, working full time, and trying to have a full time family that they're tending to. This is a lot of times unrealistic. You can't give 20 hours to pharmacology, another 20 hours to um, fundamentals and work full time. It's just not enough time in the day. So one of the first indicators to me of success is what is your workload? What does your workload look like? And how well can you balance that? Those who have failed have tried to do it all. And a lot of times um, unsuccessfully, it's much, much, much harder than it looks. I often times give my students a lot of extra um, help. I actually offer a review after every exam. Um, this is outside of classroom time. After the class session ends, we stay after 15, 20 minutes. It's an optional event, but I'll tell you that I have seen the students who are more likely to succeed take me up on that voluntary review. We talk about test questions, the rationales for why we choose certain answers over others. I think it helps to build test taking skills, clarify concepts that maybe were missed initially. Uh, but again, that's another avenue where I see students who are a little bit more motivated than others taking me up on that. No, uh, to be successful in pharmacology, you don't have to solely have a great memory. Although it is a big part of it because pharmacology is a completely different language. You have to learn abstract words with abstract spellings that are sometimes get jumbled and are hard to place in the appropriate filing cabinets in your brain. So you have to be, have a very good organizational system for studying pharmacology. Um, memorization will get you to a certain point, but we do a lot of critical thinking application as well in this class. So um, that part you know, has to come from you working with the material on your own, thinking about it frontwards and backwards and sideways, um, and kind of correlating it with the examples that we've talked about in class. So there's more to it than memorization. It has a, a multifaceted um, sort of experience. Well, my favorite part of teaching in general is the, the eureka moments. The, the moments, of course, I think every instructor enjoys where students, it, it clicks for them. And I tend to see this a lot more when students come to class prepared because then they start to get it and then they can start to apply it. The other thing that I, 
I love and I enjoy about my classes is when my students participate. I do not like to just lecture on and on. I'm happy to do it, but I feel like the experience is way more beneficial if everybody brings what they know to the table. Even at the LPN level, um, I know many students haven't had a lot of work experience in healthcare, but some of them are paramedics, some of them have um, CNA experience, and they've been around, they've seen things, they've heard things, and I, I, I love it when their experiences get brought into the classroom and we can make it a more dynamic discussion because that's the best way to learn, to have real life examples. Don't be intimidated by the class. If you are intimidated, you have already lost. You need to tackle this out of the gate. Do your reading ahead of time. Bring your questions. Don't be afraid to ask them and participate. Share what you know with your colleagues that really, the more engaged you get, the better the outcomes for you will be.